So we all know LEGO Clone Troopers are absolutely awesome, but today I've come up with 10 ways you can improve your LEGO Clone Troopers in really cool and unique ways, including different blasters, different accessories, different pauldrons, different capes, cloths, and much, much more. There's some really cool things in this video. I hope you guys do end up enjoying it. If you do, of course, hit that subscribe button. But with that being said, let's head straight into the first upgrade. So the first upgrade we're going to make is to the pauldrons. Now LEGO seem to be printing on all of their pauldrons with figs like the 187th, and I'm just not a big fan of that. They have done different cloth ones in the past however you can find a load of different awesome custom ones out there and i'm going to quickly touch on a couple of really cool easy ones you can add right now so this first one's a bit of an arc trooper sort of one i know it kind of needs a little bit more folding down and can be a little bit puffy but this one can be found at places like av figures jonak toys and many many more places like this and then to upgrade this 501st trooper i'm going to use a really really cool one from cape canteen and this one is absolutely fantastic and it's this sort of blue one with some ammo pouches and a cool strap on the side i absolutely love this one i think this is one of the cooler ones you can get for your troopers and you can get this in multiple different colors and things like that so that's a great upgrade you can make to different things however lego have been printing on their waist capes and karma so let's upgrade that in number two so this first one again is a pretty simple one it's basically the same as lego this is actually from a place named capes for minifigs now this is a cool company really really cheap and a really good product none of this is sponsored in this video or anything like that it's just a really cool one and you can see this adds a lot of detail around the waist and you can find different ones from different varieties and even printed ones from different companies like av figures and clone army customs as well and you can upgrade different figs like this and you can see there's a ton of different varieties and waist capes and pauldrons and they can add a ton of detail using these different cloth pieces. You can see a different variety of the ones here. You can see Jernak Toys ones, Davy Figures ones that need cutting out and things like Cape Cantina and Capes for Minifigs that come pre-done. You can also find other things to upgrade different figs that aren't cloned like ponchos to upgrade a Calcestis right here. So at number three we have antennas. Now this is a really cool thing you can add to your figs. It's very easy to do with the phase one clones. Of course this is the Lego one right here but you can take it to another level with things like the Clone Army Customs one which I think is a much much nicer mold and I think looks much more accurate to what we see in the actual shows now this is one thing doing it to the phase one clones but things like rex and stuff like that they don't have the helmet holds on the phase two helmets so now we're going to show you a way to upgrade phase two helmets with the antennas and stuff like that so you can use helmets like clone army custom which actually have pre-modded holes in the helmets this is something i wish lego had done earlier but we can solve the problem of not having the holes in the helmets by drilling holes so such as this wolf figure right here i actually drilled the hole in the side of the helmet for the antenna it was really really easy to do you just have to find the right drill and be very very gentle it can be a little bit tricky but it looks amazing and once you've done this you can add antennas like this clone army customs one and you can see it fits in really really nicely i wish lego had just drilled a hole here for things like cody but speaking of cody we're going to get on to visors as well for number four so this is a really cool upgrade you can make now cody is one that they've done for the phase two helmets of course it works for the phase ones but for me the phase two one just looks really really bad i think it just covers the entire side of the head and just looks a bit too blocky and when you compare it to the custom one this really does not look good we have a couple of detail ones right here these are from clone army customs again Again, these actually come printed and you can find them with really really cool markings and things like that and I absolutely love the way these look definitely would recommend picking up a couple of these you can see they just slip onto the helmet and they can grip on really really nicely and there's a wide variety of these including ones without the antennas and in many many different colors pretty much any color you can think of clone Army customs has made it and you can also get unprinted ones with the antennas and even ones to upgrade your 501st troopers like this this really looks good and it looks like how the new heavy trooper might look in the battle pack but let's move on to number five which is blasters and we're specifically focusing on brick built ones for this first section so of course the lego blasters are pretty simple and pretty boring however there's a thousand different ways you can upgrade these blasters however i've picked out just three to show you in this video right here so you can see this one's a bit of a longer blaster with a cool little grip now this grip is actually made using a lego hand piece which is very very awesome and then we have a small technic piece on the end there blasters like this are super easy to make another one you can actually do is using this clip piece instead of the hand and clip that onto there and it kind of looks like either a magazine or some kind of extra hand hold at the front and i also added a different technique piece on here you can do tons of different variety with these blasters now this next one is actually one that looks a bit like the han solo blaster i really like this one you got kind of like the gray end it's very very simple again with a small technic pin there and i love the way this turns out but if you're not a lego purist and you want to take things to the next level you can actually use custom blasters and you can find tons of different molded ones from places like aliexpress clone army customs and for me the personal best one is brick arms now these are all really really cool detailed blasters you can see we have long versions right here which really fit the clone blasters perfectly and then we do in fact have short versions of these as well as pistols and even mini guns i think this is such a sweet mini gun you can see it even has a rotating sort of cannon on the front there and these small pistols are definitely great for upgrading different commanders and things like rex speaking of weapons and stuff number seven is a shield now you can get this awesome custom 3d printed shield right here this one's actually from a guy named tyne on instagram and he actually prints on the republic logo and the different details onto here you can also get decaled ones and stuff like that you can see there's even a sort of gap you can look through 
through as he's sort of protecting himself and shooting around it. Now if you don't want to grab those printed shields you can actually just go ahead and make your own one using this tap piece and this 2x4 tile and it makes a kind of cool little shield right here as well. Definitely not as detailed as the custom one but it still looks pretty cool. Now another upgrade you can make is to actually display your figures in really nice display cases. You can see here we have a ton of different ones right here. We have some amazing wicked brick display cases. Now these are actually a really cool company and there's an affiliate link down below in the description of this video so you can go check them out if you'd like to. But yeah we even have wall mounted ones as well as these larger ones that I found on Amazon as well. So there's some really good different displays for them and it really improves your figures a lot in my opinion. And another way to display this is in number nine and that is with dioramas and mocks. Now this is a cool way to display your figures. You can build scenes specifically around the clone troopers and the specific variants of the clone troopers that you have and I think this is a really cool way to display these and get the most out of your figures and really make them look fantastic. Now here is a small Mikeito mock I've made for my Galactic Marines and I think this looks really awesome. If you want to see more about this mock I actually made this in one hour during a challenge video the other day so definitely go check that one out if you want to. But number 10 is backpacks. Now this can be either custom or brick built once again and we have some really cool designs here for different ones. So you can see we're going to start off with this Lego one right here so you can basically build this using a few very very simple pieces. We have this small clip that goes onto the back and then there's a handful of pieces that we need to add here. Just this bracket piece facing down with a cheese slope inside of it. A clip facing to one side and a one by one plate to add a little bit more of a splash of colour and make it look more republic. I had this one by two dark red plates and then I added these curved pieces on the bottom to make it nice and detailed and now our clone trooper is ready for his first day of school looking like a first grader with giant backpacks on his back right there. And now this next one is a custom one, yes again from Clone Army Customs. This company has definitely been featured heavily in this video but they make some amazing clone stuff and this one you can actually add a few different things into the back there like a thermal detonator or something like that. And they also make printed ones like this one for Cody. I absolutely love this one right here. This is absolutely amazing. It looks more like a jetpack for him but it's so so cool. And even make ones for the full Bad Batch squad and you can see so much different variety and so many different sizes and shapes and prints on these backpacks and they really do look awesome. And you even have ones like this one that is perfect for flame troopers. So that was my 10 upgrades for Lego clone troopers. Let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your feedback. Of course if you have any other upgrades that you think I should make or if I should make a part two I've definitely got a couple of things that I've held back as well so if you'd like to see a part two let me know in the comment section down below and let me know if you have any suggestions as well. Of course you can show your feedback and appreciation through the like button as well and of course subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on more awesome Lego Star Wars content. So I made a video the other day that I think you guys would love that is five clone troopers that Lego have refused to make so if you guys would like that video it's right here if you want to enjoy that one and you can click here to see the rest of my content over on my channel as well. We have tons of other Lego Star Wars, Lego Castle, Lego Mocks and much much more content over there so I'll see you guys over there but with that being said have a great rest of your day and I'll see you later. Goodbye.